Hey creators, it's AJ here. It has been, I think, a whole year since I did an educational video on social media for the artist. It has been a really rough year. And for me, my year is over. I had one year of a mourning period from a death in my family. And now it is over. I feel a little bit better. It's still a struggle, but I'm back. So, you know, here I am. Okay. So with that being said, <laughs> and new year comes new beginnings and, you know, all that, I went back onto my Instagram feed and somebody had posted in the art post promote group of how could somebody have only a hundred posts and like 10,000 followers? Well, some of those people are buying their followers, but a lot of them are going back into their Instagram feeds and deleting their posts. So I really thought about it after I had answered it. Some of them, you can tell that they're just spam bots or they're, they're using a, a program to buy followers and there's no engagement. But I went back onto my feed and I noticed that I had over 900 posts and I had 855 followers about. And I realized that I'm posting a lot and I started on Instagram at the very end of 2012, beginning of 2013 when it first came out. I'm what they call like an early adopter. So I was probably doing stuff having no clue of what I was doing. And that's okay because Instagram allows me to go back and delete those posts or they have a feature that's been out for a few months called archive. So I'm actually scrolling through my feed now and I deleted over a hundred of them. I realized that when I looked at my feed, I really want it to be about my art and I want very little to be about my personal stuff. Meaning, do I have a cold? Am I giving a NyQuil bottle? Um, the blonde, the blonde hair, the blonde hair has got to go. No blonde hair. Too many pictures of my dog, pictures of me on about my family, things that I should be really posting on Facebook direct because that's what I use my Facebook page for and not really for my Instagram page. So some of it was laziness on my part that I'm out and about, I'm snapping a picture and I can just, oh, it'll post automatically on my Facebook. And then I realized I don't really want to do that. You know, I really should be selective on what's on my Instagram and what's on my personal page, on my, my, um, my Facebook page. So normally when somebody finds your page on Instagram and this is my, my phone, but some people, the average person sees the first nine grids. So every time somebody is going on the computer, or whatever device they're on, they tend to only be seeing, even in this case, just my three top photos. I want to make sure that I capture that person because they're probably only going to go scroll up a little. Most people aren't going to scroll down to the 1000th photo, but I don't want anybody who may have the time one night and is scrolling through and sees a political post that maybe shouldn't be there or something. I want to keep them engaged with my art making. So I've been going back through and deleting those posts that I just feel aren't on message with my brand. But there are some that I feel that, gee, that was a painting that I had started and I didn't finish it yet, or maybe it's gonna be an upcoming show and I don't wanna give privy to it. So instead of deleting it, I'm gonna archive it. And what you do with that, and we'll just take an example of this one. Hold on, let it come up. I have a very slow internet. Okay, so this is just a photo of in Provincetown. I think it's from last year with a rainbow. And up in the corner, I have my three dots. And it'll, I gotta find this camera. It'll say on the top, archive, turn on notifications, um, edit, share, or delete. I don't wanna delete the post. I just wanna archive it. So I'm gonna click on the archive. Boom, it's gone. You go, where'd it go? Well, it's archived. So when I go back up to the top, let me see if I can, oh, I'm having so much trouble today with this camera. I think it's on the top right here, there's this little reverse clock. And if I click on that, I will see all the posts that I archived. I don't wanna delete them, I may wanna use them later. And I'll click on them and it'll let me repost the post. It doesn't put it back as a new post. It puts it back where it was. So I know Instagram is still working on that to see if it can get edited, but you know, Taylor Swift archived her entire Instagram feed because she was going to release a new album and she wanted to make a big announcement. 
So a lot of celebrities who want to take a break from social media, you, you, you know, I should only be so lucky to take a break from social media that I have so many fans that I can't keep up with the messages and the comments. But as you know, most of them do not respond directly to fans. Um, but a lot of the brands do that. So over the cost, co the, the course of four years already, maybe on Instagram, what I want to show and what I'm doing and the filters I'm using are really different. So every day that I go on, I say to myself, I'm going to go through and delete like five or 10 pictures because it's at least it's time consuming. You can't do this massive dump of the photos. Unfortunately, you have to go one by one by one by one by one. But like I said, it is something that you should consider if you have something that was just a really bad picture, maybe somebody left a negative comment, maybe it just didn't have, it doesn't mean anything. So go back and clean up your Instagram feeds. So when you look at somebody and they say, oh my God, they have 5,000 followers and 10 posts, it could simply be because that they dump part of their feed maybe at the end of the year and they only want people to see what's current and happening with them at that time. So you can also do that on all of your social media. You should go back in, even if it's your Facebook page and say, gee, you know what? That really doesn't represent who I am as anymore as an artist. That show was not successful for me. I don't really want to go back to that um, time frame. There are people that I find that will find you all of a sudden and spend the next hour going back and liking and commenting on things from two years ago. I don't know about you, but I don't have the time to do that. But there are people that do that. And you may have something that could be different in your past. You may have an old boyfriend or an ex-husband <laughs> or a family, a pet that died and you don't want to see it anymore. Or something that's in your past that you just feel it's just better not to be part of where you are now. So go through and review it. That's what I'm doing. Like these posts, I really do not worry about that they have 10 posts and 10,000 followers. I realize that they're, if I like the posts and I enjoy it and I get something out of it and I want to follow them, that's fine. You know, it's kind of like I'm getting something out of it. And I hope that when people look at your feeds, that they're getting some value out of your posts, that they're going to continually go back and like them and engage with you on them or, you know, Find out more about who you are as an artist. Please remember, if you have questions, post them below. And don't forget to art, post, and promote.